is the department sending people to video or or record in any way the tea parties? Um, I can't speak to sort of things that are law enforcement sensitive, um, so I, I can't speak to any current law enforcement uh, operations. Or Does the department consider the organizers of tea parties right-wing extremists? Um, I, I couldn't answer that. Does the department consider uh, people who are opposed to illegal immigration, as this footnote uh, in, uh, seems to say, uh, uh, right-wing extremists? No. All right. Well, I, you know, I've, I've, uh, is this is this report going to be withdrawn and redone? Um, I, I think that uh, this report, um, you know, uh, we, we may not have seen the seen the last of it. I'll say that uh, because, in other words, when I said Unabomber and, and all, other than Tim McVeigh, you know, in this report, there are no names. There are no names of groups. I don't really know who you're talking about. I mean, are you are you are you talking about the? Uh, you know, the VFW, or are you talking about the Ku Klux Klan? It's not really clear. Right. This is really an unclear and very poorly written report to start with. I mean, if I was a grammar teacher, I'd be very unhappy. You know what <laughs> well, I'm saying? Yeah, and, and, I, and I, share, I share some of your, uh, you know, frustration with, uh, with this document. So is it going to be withdrawn or not, or do you know? Uh, I, I don't think that, um, that we're saying that at this point. Okay, so in other words, it stands and it has been sent to all law enforcement agencies in this country, state, federal, local, and tribal. Yes. Sean Smith, I appreciate your being with us. You bet, Roger. Thanks, Thanks for your for time. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Sean Smith, Assistant Secretary of DHS for Public Affairs.